Let's keep the wolves in the hills and the women in our beds. Hey, is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. Shit, it's yours. Take it. <laughs> Just remember who saved it for you. Guys, it's okay. He just wanted his machete back. <sighs> Hello there, sexy monkeys. Welcome back to Sky G Experience. I'm Ben. Today is day 10 of 13 for Friday the 13 Marathon movies because next Friday is Friday the motherfucking 13th. And today I got Jason X for you, baby. Yeah, you know, like when he went to space, Leprechaun went to space, Hellraiser went to space. If Michael Myers goes to space, I swear to fucking God. So Jason X came out in 2001, yes. The last movie came out, well, 1993, so it was eight fucking years. You had a, did not have a Friday 13th movie. I know you're waiting for your Freddy vs. Jason, but still. Of all fucking ideas, this is what you come up with. Let's go to space. Okay, there were two small things about this movie I did enjoy. Um, one is way better than Jason Goes to Hell. I'll give you that much. Um, <sighs> now, Jason actually looked pretty cool in the beginning part of the movie. And I like the idea of the government like using him. At, well, he's captured one, but he, they're using him as a government experience. Like, why is he not die? I did enjoy that part. And he actually looked good. He looked way better than Jason Goes to Hell. He looked way better than the one in Manhattan. And he's right up there with Seven. He's right up there. But no, Kane Hodder, this is his last time playing Jason. He did really good as Jason in this. And the Uber Jason, you see, even though he's in space, it's still pretty badass to look at as a Jason. It's still badass. The director actually at one point wanted this movie to be, before it went to space, he wanted it to be like the whole winter vibe. Because the Friday the 13th movie has never been anywhere near snow. So imagine Jason Voorhees in a snowstorm on a frozen Camp Crystal Lake. But you still get titties, why? Hot tubs. But no, seriously, the CGI in this movie, it does not hold up. It does not hold up. But when, again, when you go to space, that's almost like you don't know what else to do for a movie. Yet. It, like, it's the last resort. Kind of like when you're, someone's trying to kill you, the last thing you do is run. No, trim, that's what it is. In Tremors, you run. That's not a plan. That's something you do when you don't have a plan. And in horror movies, that's going to space. If you go to space, it means you don't have a fucking idea what to do. I did not realize this, but if you watch this movie, it definitely has a lot of nods to the Alien movie. You can tell by the pilot, um, it, it's just like any Alien movie. Um, but the set design, the exterior, reminisces Alien a lot. Jason, of all movies, he killed the most in this movie. 28 fucking people. Whew. That's pretty good. If you're wondering when this movie takes place, it takes place in 2010. And 2,455. He is old. One of my favorite kills in this movie is when Jason takes that chick. And he puts her head in the, like the frozen ice, whatever it is. Get her face freezing and he just, psh. But there's also like five kills in this movie that are pretty solid. That are an argument where... Top 30 kills. It's some really good kills, especially the screwdriver one. Like, woo, 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 or that chick that just like is sucked out. And of course, you have one of the most famous looking famous face. If you watch the movie 300, when he does We Are Spartans and he kicks the guy down the hole, that guy is in this movie. I don't think he's out there. 
Why don't you just stick your head out and have a peek? Overall, I give this for a Sky Jane score of 3.5 out of 10. Yes. A lot of people enjoy this movie. I get it. Rock and roll, cool. But this is one of those movies where I ha I struggle to get just to the Uber Jason part. And then when I get to that part, I struggle even harder just to finish the fucking movie. All right, Sex Monkeys, I'm moving on to Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, I'm still crazy that they made a movie about them. All right, Sex Monk, is that out of here? Remember, if you go to jail, don't drop the soap.